now is is more kind of you know the game sense uh, great game sense pieces okay yeah let's let's start right off with uh jumping into some quick play and i'll just be watching and we'll chat about your gameplay So, almost never do you want to just be sitting still here. Um, the the Junkrat did place traps down somewhere, but you just you, you did not pay attention at all to where he might have been for that. So you always want to be moving around a little bit and trying to see as much as you possibly can in advance. There you go, exactly. Good. Nice. Okay, yeah. Good job backing out of there. That's, that's a bad place to be when Bastion sets up. Bastion is going to be the easiest thing to counter you at this rank. If you're if the diva dives your your soldier, you should dive with that diva. Oh, careful. Nice job, nice job. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm seeing right now, your aim is not an issue here. Your aim is pretty good for where you are. Uh, it's just your positioning and decision making. You're seeing these different targets, but you're going after ones that I would say are, are less than optimal to be uh, to begin with here. So also that, yeah, that Bastion should not be left behind your team for so long. Nice, nice. So, you always want to be, yep, there we go, up towards the front. Okay. Don't be switching targets so much. If you start shooting at one thing, unless you have a really good reason to switch, just stick to it. Okay. Yeah. So if you're taking on this D.Va, commit to it. Take her down. Nice job denying that health back. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. You're going after the Mercy? Let's get the Mercy. Yeah. Don't let her get away. Nice. Okay. So it, it's pretty easy in between fights like this to, to know who to go after because there's only one target at any given time. But when the team fight starts, that's where we're going to want to pay attention a little bit more to who you decide to go after and how long you pursue them for. Alright, so what to do here? So just kind of keep playing with cover because obviously if you're out in the middle you'll just shred you you're doing it just fine right now playing with the cart that's perfect staying with your team it's good just keep moving up though you set the front line using this cover is good yeah getting right up in there there was no need to use up your whole matrix there you had plenty of cover and your healers there so yeah right now you notice your mccree's in there yeah help them out go in there take the full focus of the enemy team so he can do his work on his own. That was a great uh, combination there with you and your McCree. It's simple stuff like that. It wasn't no, no ability combo, just positioning in a cooperative manner. So a good thing to do here is just get up in that doorway and block them from coming out so they can't contest. That's another thing to do too. Ah, uh, didn't get anyone. Got the mech. Okay, that's acceptable. Either way, you guaranteed that your team got the point. Oh, there's a res. Yeah, you should be able to get her. Nice. You're helping your team out there. Nice, nice. Good, good aim there. See, this is where you want to be. You want to be up in the front third of your team. If you can see more than two people in front of you, you are too far back. And if you can't see anyone in front of you, you might be too far forward. Ah, she messed it up. Okay. Nice. 
Yep. Even if you think it's a bad one to go after, just keep focusing on it. And that was a great target to go after. That Arissa was actually perfect because she, she's being focused on by a couple of your teammates. Nice, okay. Yeah, so, so what that does when you focus on the same thing as your teammates are focusing on, not only do you get the pick faster, but they can then move on to killing other stuff more quickly. It's just yeah, it's... good in general. Oh, nice. Oh, I wonder what that's for. Uh, it's when you ulted the uh, the Bastion, I think. Oh. You did a little bit of damage to a bunch of other stuff that got killed, and then, uh, yeah, that's, that's cool. Distance to spawn. Like, if you're close to the end, right, and they're spawning quick, and you're spawning, you know, 10 seconds plus travel time out, um, is it still worth for, you know, a one-on-one a one -on -one trade? Because the timing doesn't work out. Uh, in what situation? Like, where? Yeah. Even like right here, if I were to go in and I could guarantee, you know, me for a widow. Uh, uh yeah, no, not worth it. On defense, you never want to trade. Okay. Because they respawn so much more quickly. So, so no, you you do not trade on defense. On offense, yes, by all means, if you can get that one, uh, that one pick, that's amazing. But on defense, if you get picked, yeah, exactly. The spawn advantage is so huge for the attackers. You can't do that. So here, if you're gonna be shooting at them, might as well play. If your your team's up this far, play with the front cover here. Now I don't mean like go all the way up into the spawn, but like yeah, right here by the by the the cart. This is decent because you can still fly away. Oh, and if they're coming down on your back, good job realizing that there's some pressure on the back line. You might wanna where there's a soldier just got your Genji. Where's that soldier? Now I hear a Reaper. I don't know if you do. Yeah, Reaper just got your soldier again. <laughs> they're up top. Oh, and the uh, the widow managed to pull that off. Interesting. Yeah, so that's the danger when you're all split up like that and that far forward. It's very hard for your whole team to for you to protect your whole team. So using your missiles when you're in that close against a barrier is pretty dangerous because you do take splash damage from them. You hurt yourself, which means you're gonna you're gonna go down that much quicker. Okay, try not to ever walk in straight lines. Nice kill there, but you were walking straight back. As you rank up, that's just going to get you killed, and that will be a limiting factor on how how far you can get. You have to continue strafing. Like, standing still, that is never acceptable. You should never be standing still. A lot of the way a higher level players aim, and if you watch me, you'll, you'll notice that a lot of the time I'm not actually aiming with my mouse so much as I'm aiming by moving. So like when I'm aiming at long range, exactly, strafing like that is how I'm adjusting for my targeting and then minor, minor adjustments with the mouse. Nice job being aware there. But yeah, keep moving, always left, right, left, right, left, right. That's something you gotta practice and it's gotta become second nature. If you can strafe like that, you'll almost be unkillable. Like when I've played at, at even like Plat and Diamond, if I strafe, I can just run around through the entire enemy team and the only way they're gonna kill me is if like the Reinhardt starts swinging at me. But no one will be able to hit me with their aim. Good job there. I like how you're playing around this cover. So. I'm, we might have talked before about being able to cancel boost instead of trying to boost through people all the time. Nice, yeah. nice, getting that kill from the grave. But you, you don't want to boost through people, you want to boost into them, hit them with it, and then continue doing damage at your closest effective range. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. See, they didn't move left or right, they continued moving in straight lines, and you punished them for it. If you learn to move more effectively with strafing, you will be on a whole different level. People just won't be able to shoot you, you'll take less damage. This applies even when you're in mech. People can't track that fast at this level. So like moving left and right,
Uh oh. Get out of the way. There we go. Yeah. I'm I'm liking what you're doing. And obviously it's working. They have not been able to, to take the point. Oh yeah. Rockets, come on. Oh, melee. Melee would have been very effective right there. But yeah, you, you were out of the fight for way too long. When you go off to flank and kill someone like that, you have to make it quick and clean. Or your team suffers for it, as you saw there. You missed just barely. It slid along the inside wall there. So at this point, you probably just want to be like on the cart to stall it. So that your team can come back. Yeah, just keep moving around and always shooting. There's always... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, Hanzo's there. That's... um. Yeah, you gave your team a lot of time to get back there. Notice how they haven't been able to push it at all, still. You just need to... Oh, and you win. Wow. I mean, yeah, you, you were playing pretty well. You were getting a lot of picks. For for this level, getting those picks, that that's putting you in a league uh, apart from them all. See, this is when you're off trying to get that soldier. If you're there... You're able to just completely uh, block that off or maybe help kill him sooner. Yeah.